Drying out tonight after downpours of rain flooded streets and buildings. All that water also overwhelmed some drains in downtown Minneapolis. There you go. A viewer sent us this video of water shooting out of a manhole like a geyser. The strong rain also knocked out power to thousands of people. XL Energy is reporting around 2,500 customers are still in the dark tonight. As Jonah Kaplan reports, there were big water buildups on the roads and even on some floors. Beggars can't be choosers, but maybe next time the rain can be a little lighter and last a little longer. Watch this time lapse of the quick moving storm rolling in over St. Paul. Now watch what happened next. This Mini Cooper, not big enough to make it across Robert Street. Come on, do it again. Now let's move to Minneapolis, a manhole doing its best impression of Old Faithful. And when it comes to flash flooding, obviously there's only so much our civil engineering can take. These storm drains, if they're clogged or we just get too much water at one time, yes, you're going to have some flash flooding. But rains like what we had today also exposing some issues for folks. Their gutters maybe are clogged, but also roof leaks. And that clogged, but also roof leaks. And that was a big problem here at the Somali Mall. They didn't cave in, just the water was everywhere. Jamal Osbind is a frequent shopper at the mall. He also happens to be the neighborhood city council member. He said a fire last month led to some roof damage and shop owners told him the roof wasn't fully fixed yet. What I saw was that the, the, the water was gushing everywhere, it was flooding everywhere. It really affects the small business owners, uh, moms, shops, and uh, uh, people that are here to do the work. Um, it was very frustrating to see their uh, belonging damaged. Fire crews on Saturday not putting out a fire. They were there to take away the water and dry things out. Store owners themselves carried empty That's buckets that after that bucket, that pail that after that pail. The health concern, uh, the safety concern, uh, the even electricity power and the water, you know, that, that, that's just one of the things I asked the captain was like, is this building safe? We don't have the safety. Fortunately, the early answer was yes, which allowed the mall to be open by dinner time. The councilman said another inspection will take place on Sunday. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. No one was hurt from the flooding at the mall, and there were no reported injuries from the flash flooding in West St. Paul.